Well, it may not look like much now, but this is the aftermath of a bar fight. Terrebonne sheriffs say after a couple was told to leave, they backed their car into the front of a bar, taking down a wall and hurting customers in the process. Good evening and thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Sharice Gibson and I'm Karen Swenson. Thankfully, everyone is okay, but that couple is now facing charges. So this happened over the weekend in Borg at the Rusty Pelican Bar off of Highway 24. Our Paul Dudley has a look at the damage they left behind. The Rusty Pelican Bar is closed and boarded up after a man and his wife drove a truck into the front Saturday night just before midnight. It's unusual. I mean, we have some things that we investigate, but not someone to uh, just ride through a building because he's upset with someone. According to the Terrebonne Parish Sheriff's Office, it all started after 34-year-old Dustin Rogers and his 35-year-old wife Stacy got into a fight with some other customers. The couple was asked to leave. They left, but they also made statements that uh, they would be back and that it was not over. The sheriff's office says about 15 minutes later, the couple returned and backed a black flatbed truck into the front of the bar, sending the customers inside ducking for cover. They were non-life threatening, but uh, they had to seek medical attention uh, for the injuries. The truck then accelerated out of the parking lot, hitting a parked car on the way out. The sheriff's office eventually arrested both Dustin and Stacy Rogers. Major Malcolm Wolf with TPSO says he's just glad this wasn't any worse. Could have been a lot more serious than it was. I mean, for the vehicle to crash into the, the building and the front wall collapse. I mean, people could have been killed. Both Dustin and Stacy Rogers were arrested. They are facing two counts of aggravated criminal damage to property. In Homa, I'm Paul Dudley reporting Eyewitness News. Back to you. Dustin Rogers was also arrested for driving while intoxicated, hit and run, three counts of vehicular negligent injury, and reckless operation of a motor vehicle.